With all the talk about the pay disparities of blacks in the entertainment industry, surely Strawberry was really no exception. Uh, it seems that she was struggling to make ends meet. And it sort of gives us the impression that that's why allegedly so much of these frauds and things like that was going on because they were busy trying to keep up with the Joneses, the Harveys, and the Oprah Winfrey's. Right, right. Okay. But that's just more me, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. You see, my wrong. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. As long as yeah. you're comfortable and you and you're happy, that's the most important. Yeah. But we'll see. I'm just gonna look at what she has. Yeah, Yeah. <laughs> I mean that's what I'm yeah. used to, but yeah. yeah. I ain't nothing wrong with that. Get what you used to. Get what you used to. I'm just starting now because I already know what y'all field trip is going to be like. I already know. Oh, yeah. I told her I was 50. She's going to get ready. I told her I was 50. <laughs> she said, you said, that's okay because so is she. Okay. She said, that's okay because okay. so is she. Right. So, okay. uh-huh. Okay. Now, now what you got to say. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> Right. I'm not okay. changing. All right. Well, now, yeah, and I don't expect for you to change at all for nobody. I, I always tell you this. Stay, stay who you are. Don't change for nobody. Yeah. Yeah. You can I'm grow, but you ain't got to change. Right. Right. Change for someone else or whatever. I'm just trying to do me. I mean, shoot. Yeah. 20 more years, I'll be 90. Yeah, do you? <laughs> Okay, it's, it's a many over. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I mean okay, it's like, come okay. on. Come on. If I'm, uh, well, man, I shouldn't, this shouldn't even be my life right now. But it is, so I have to accept it. Well, I, I do agree. I do agree. I'm not arguing with you with that. I'll, I'll mm-hmm. sit in this cell and, and... It's her life because that's what she chose we all have choices in life so someone her age should have been more careful with who she connected with and of course she was warned about ernesto when she got with him and she should have made wiser choices with her money and say the same thing to myself Mm -hmm. every day yeah Right. But there's some people outside out there locked up in their mind right now. So Yeah, so, right. So you just have to deal with life how it comes to you. You know, you don't you don't know this is what life is. This is, you don't know what's going to happen. You know, you no. try to do the right thing. You no. try to, you know, I know I do. So anyway, that's just what it is. Just have to deal with life how it, how it comes. Right, 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 right. Okay, so when you get a chance, just take uh, Mark tell him that's okay, everything's okay. You, 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 you handle it yourself with your uh, living arrangement. Just tell him I, I've been trying to call him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll tell him that. I'll just tell him that because I think he's still trying to hear from this lady and he wants to hook us up and all of that, but. I mean, and it's not that I'm impatient. You ain't got time for that. Yeah, it's not that I'm impatient. It's just that I'll, I'll just, you know, he he volunteered it, so I said okay. But it's okay. Well, I'll just tell. I think that's a that's the right move with uh, Monica. And if that don't work, if, if that don't work, then okay, go to that, then you go go back to that. By then, I'll probably be out anyway. But at least you got some movement going on. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to, yeah, have some movement. You're right. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're not stagnated. You got some movement going on, so you made some progress. So that's that's all. You see, you made a step. Sometimes you don't feel like you're making a step. You're not moving forward. So, yeah. Yeah. So that, 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 uh, that'd be just, if that's the way God got to set up for you to go with her, that's the way he got to set up. Right. 
It's surprising that someone her age with a stable income is having to hop from place to place. I mean, it's just, it's just stunning to me that someone her age does not own her own home that's, you know, free and clear, or at least halfway there. You know, hopping from place to place to place to place. Anyway, because uh, you already broke it down, well, Mark done broke it down to us, or you broke it down to us, so y'all on the same page. Yeah, I, um, uh, yeah, so she knows. I didn't, I didn't, I mean, there's nothing else I could really tell her, but, um, anyway, yeah, she knows. I mean, she knows what I want. I told her two mm -hmm. or three. So I need an office to work in. I need an office to work in. No, I'm not sharing bathroom. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Everybody needs to have their own bathroom. Okay. <laughs> I think okay, I've earned well, that. Right, I think I've, you know what? What? Yeah, you got it. You got it. You earn it. I mean, it's, hey, that's, 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 that's your skill. Or that's what you like. Mm -hmm. I mean, at my age, I, I mean, should be able to have, have something. It's the age you are. You've been like that. <laughs> yeah, I've been like this for a while. <laughs> for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, so, yeah, so uh, I can't change something you already used to. A lot of people have, yeah, have their own bathroom. Yeah, a lot of people have their own bathroom. I'm not the only one. Oh. Oh, people okay. Like have their own bathroom. Yeah. I know. Some people it doesn't, but oh. I like having my own. Because I, I don't like to be rushed. Yeah, no. I like to stay in there as long as I, I like to. I like to watch TV yeah. in there. <laughs> Put on my okay. makeup. Take okay. my time. Mm -hmm. You know. I know how you roll. I know how you roll. I know how to take him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you can have all that bag. It's coming right back to you. So it is what it is. I just want you to make sure you, you, you're safe. And uh, and that's the most important thing to me right now. So you yeah. can enjoy it. You can have all mm -hmm. that, but you ain't around no safe environment. It's not going to be no good in a way. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. And some people say, right. don't be afraid, don't be afraid to live, but shoot, where are you going now? You can be living if shit happens. Yeah, like you got to, you got to pay attention because this world is crazy. And we talk about that all the time. <laughs> it really is. So this world is going nuts. <laughs> yeah. It really has gone nuts. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Really mm -hmm. I mean, I should be retired, going to the spa every day, or, or once a week, or something, you know? It's like well, I, should have a whole, I should have a whole well, different kind of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can, you would, well, here's the thing. You've been mm -hmm. living good for a long, long time. Okay. Really? Sometimes. You don't think so? Well, I mean... I, I, I I'm like, okay, yeah. <gasps> I, I I mean, like, you know, I mean, to me, people, when I think of that, I think of, like, the Oprahs of the world. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, okay. No, I get You know, he laughs at her so much because she's a fool. She's like a clown to him. She was nothing, in my opinion, she was just a con, you know, she's a clown, she's a fool. He's constantly laughing at her because, you know, she's funny to him. And she reminds me of that. She, when I think of Shirley Strawberry, the image that comes in my mind is that donkey, and I'm digging back in the crates with that donkey from Winnie the Pooh. You know that donkey. That's the when when I I think of her, that image flashes in my mind. You know, and it's really sad that 
at her age, she feels like she has to convince herself or others that she's worthy or deserving of something. And he just sits and he laughs at her. It's crazy. You got to pay attention because this world is crazy. And we talk about that all the time. <laughs> it really is. This world is going nuts. <laughs> Yeah. It really has gone nuts. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's it really is. Crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I should be retired, going to the spa every day, or, or once a week, or something, you know? It's like yeah, I, should have a whole, I should have a whole but different you, kind of life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you can, you would, you would hear the thing. You've been mm-hmm. living good for a long, long time. Okay. Really? Sometimes. You don't think so? Well, I mean, I, I, I oh, feel no. like, okay, yeah. Oh. I, I I mean, like, you know, I mean, to me, people, when I think of that, I think of, like, the Oprahs of the world. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, okay. No, I get that. That's makes what sense. I'm talking about. Yeah. I understand. But don't get me wrong, I'm not ungrateful. That doesn't mean I'm ungrateful. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, she is ungrateful. She is. And that's why she, like I said, someone her age who has had consistent income for all of these years should not be in the financial position that she's in. With all of the access that she has, And the stable income that she's had from employment all these years, she should not be in the the bad financial position that she's in. But she has an attitude of ingratitude, even though out of her mouth she'll say, oh, she's grateful. No, she isn't. She isn't. And people like that always want more, more, more but they don't they're not grateful for what they have and they don't make the best of what they have she could have had legitimate investments he could have had a legitimate business and different things like that instead he's allegedly running these cons and i believe that she knew he was running a bunch of cons because they wanted to live a certain lifestyle that they were not able to afford without running these scams and these cons, allegedly running these scams and cons. But if they were grateful for what they had, wanted to do the right thing, they could have had all of those things that they were looking for. I don't I don't believe she would have ever been a billionaire or something like Oprah. But, I mean, it is what it is. Everyone isn't going to be a billionaire. You know, uh, just like we heard the call where she was uh, coveting or envious of what Marjorie Harvey had. Well, I mean, look, it is what it is. You have what you have. You can't run cons on people or pretend as though you don't know that your man is running cons on people just so you can what? get an extra pair of Louis Vuittons or you can go to a nice restaurant or you could skip out paying the rent at another property and hop to another one. I mean, you know, like I said, she's like that donkey from Winnie the Pooh. She really is. So when you say living well, yeah, that's what I'm talking okay. about. Okay, that's what you're talking about. You're talking about some shit you yeah. seen. Okay. Yeah. I'm not talking about, I mean, I know I've been healthy and, you know, and blessed and all of that. I know that. I'm not, I don't, I don't, that, that doesn't, that's not unnoticed or unappreciated. I got it. I know that. God has been very good to me. But I'm not Oprah. I'm not, um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> not like that. I mean, how can you say that, oh, God, you've been good to me. You've blessed me with health. You've blessed me with with uh, money. You've blessed me with fame. You've blessed me with a stable income. 
but I'm not Oprah. You didn't give me billions, God. You know, I mean, ugh. You didn't give me, you didn't give me billions. You gave me a lot, God, but, you know, you gave her more. You gave Oprah more. Okay. No, I get that That's makes what sense. I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah. I'm saying. But don't get me wrong. You. I'm not ungrateful. I'm, I, that doesn't mean I'm ungrateful. That's not what I'm talking about. But when you say living well, yeah, that's what I'm talking okay. about. Okay. That's what you're talking about. You're talking about some shit yeah. you just seen. Okay. Yeah. I'm not talking about. I mean, I know I've been healthy and you know and blessed and all of that. I know that. I'm not, I don't, I don't, that, that doesn't, that's not unnoticed or unappreciated. I got it. I know that. God has been very good to me. But I'm not Oprah. I'm not, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like that. Well, she With might be Margaret. having problems too. Yeah, well, she's she crazy. She's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if she's crazy. I just know that she lives her life. I know that. That's what I mean. You know, she's doing that. Yeah, but I don't want to hear nobody who I'm afraid of. She's scared of that girl. She's scared of her boy. I don't think so. She I don't think he's afraid of her. <laughs> I don't okay. think that at all. I, I don't think that at all. Yeah, I don't think that at all. I do think that. Okay. Who <laughs> did all of that? I know that. I'm not, I don't, I don't, that, that doesn't, that's not unnoticed or unappreciated. I got it. I know that. God has been very good to me. But I'm not Oprah. I'm not, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like that. Well, she With might be having problems, too. Yeah, well, she she's might crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if she's crazy. I just know that she lives her life. I know that. That's what I know. Yeah, she's doing that. Yeah, but I don't want to hear nobody who I'm afraid of. She's scared of that girl. She's scared of her boy. What is Steve so afraid of Marjorie for? I mean, this is the second time that um, they mention Marjorie and Steve, and he's saying that Steve is afraid of Marjorie. I mean, what what uh, is what's going on where he's so afraid of Marjorie? Okay. Yeah. I'm not talking about I mean, I know I've been healthy and, you know, and blessed and all of that. I know that. I'm not, I don't I don't that that doesn't that's not unnoticed or unappreciated. I got it. I know that. God has been very good to me. But I'm not Oprah. I'm not um you know what I'm saying? I'm not like that. Well she might be having problems too. Yeah, well, she she's might crazy. Be. She's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if she's crazy. I just know that she lives her life. I know that. That's what I know. Yeah, she's doing that. Yeah, but I don't want to hear nobody who I'm afraid of. She's scared of that girl well enough to even say that other than what he heard from Shirley. Right? Now, Shirley knew the phone calls were being recorded. So she had to um, say what she said. Oh, no, I don't think that and this and that. But with their pillow talk, I believe that she was saying all kinds of things about Steve and Marjorie. That's why Ernesto was so sure of saying that Marjorie was crazy. Obviously, he had to have some reference of why he was saying that. He wasn't just saying that just to say that. Yeah, I don't think that at all. I do think that. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I do think that. Yeah. Yes, it is, Shirley. It is cold out here. Well, I don't know if Steve's going to drag her back on the show with another Shirley Strawberry letter again. but Or maybe he'll drag Ernesto on. I don't know. 
Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you're so motivated to do so. And let me know what makes you think Ernesto is right that Steve is afraid of Marjorie. What is he so afraid of? Because Ernesto certainly seems convinced.